Scandinavia, a sub-region in Northern Europe, home to rich history and strong cultural beliefs. A part of the world which dominates in winter sports, which leaves no surprise when a country with a population of 5 million has never had a winner on the European Tour or the PGA Tour. Born in 1997 in Norway's capital Oslo, Victor Hovland was a shy, small, timid child. Despite his bad genetics, Victor was always challenging what he had. He took up Taekwondo at an early age, something very out of the normal for a young Norwegian boy. Most were out playing football or into skiing, but Hovland proved height and weight is no barrier and became a black belt in the sport very quickly. See, that's a gift that Victor had very early on. He would become obsessed with things and really dive in deep into how to become the best. In 2008, his father Harold spent a year as a visiting engineer on a project in St. Louis. Whilst he was there, he had bought some clubs to kill time at a practice range that was on his way to work. When the year was up, he brought a junior set of clubs back to Norway for his son to try. And by age 11, Victor was hooked and never looked back. Taking the game up at quite a late age by today's standards, Victor felt as though he had time to make up. And like every modern day millennial, he grabbed his laptop and his addictive personality and dove straight in. Not only did Vic get to a good level very quick because of YouTube, he taught himself in a second language. In the summer in Norway, it would stay light until 10.30 at night, and his parents would still find themselves waiting in the car park for him. On the flip side though, in winter, there would be only six hours of daylight. So this meant a lot of golf being played in his local indoor driving range and countless hours of web surfing and taking in as much knowledge as he could. Popular on tour at the time was the stack and tilt swing. But being small, Hovland bypassed this method, looking at longer players like Dustin Johnson for inspiration. He knew that he needed length. Victor wasn't an idiot though. He wouldn't digest every bit of information. He scalped the bits he needed and ignored the rest. It was at Farnaby Indoor Golf Centre where Hovey met coach of six years James McGowan. The Australian had recent experience coaching PGA Tour players, helping Henrik Bjornstad become the first Norwegian to make it to the PGA Tour. McGowan knew very early though that Victor's work ethic was twice the amount of Bjornstad and expected big things. During the winter months, Hovey would always be around hitting balls, annoying McGowan about the latest swing trends and pestering him about trackman numbers. Victor was constantly trying to improve, but he became too obsessed with the swing and neglected his putting. In 2013 and age 16, Victor and the Norwegian boys team were playing in the European boys team championship, a haven for American golf scouts to get up close and personal to look at the top players coming out of Europe. Cowboys coach Alan Bratton was there to keep an eye out for Christopher Ventura, a six foot three specimen who looked the whole nine yards. But Alan couldn't keep his eyes off a small chubby kid with a swing that just kept on repeating. Victor was the youngest on the team and wasn't even the best player, but Alan just couldn't stop watching. Alan was the man who recruited Ricky Fowler and was now seeing the same traits in Vic. Being too young to recruit now, Alan exchanged numbers and promised Hovland he'd be back for him. With that huge opportunity set in stone, Victor got to work on his English straight away, making sure he had that edge for when he turned 18. In the meantime, Victor had competitions to concentrate on in Europe. In the next two years, Hovey would participate in the Summer Youth Olympics, Jacques Leglaze Trophy, Eisenhower Trophy, and the Palmer Cup, and then going on to win the Norwegian Amateur Golf Championship. Hovey's college career was up and down to start with. Taking a leaf out of good friend and college teammates Matt Wolf's book, he began a journey with Denny Lucas, a Florida-based coach he found through Instagram. Hovland's ball flight had flattened to where he was having trouble holding greens with longer clubs. His frustration grew and over Thanksgiving, Coach Bratton sent Vic to Jupiter to meet his coach for the first time and get things sorted. It was just what Hovey needed. When he returned, he was a different player. He had this tremendous height and was now playing with a newfound confidence and aggressive style of play. He became a first team All-American and never finished worse than tied 12th throughout his collegiate career. His big win though came in 2018 when he won the US Amateur, the first Norwegian to do so. With the win, he earned invitations into the 2019 Masters, 2019 US Open and 2019 Open Championship. After the win, he played in his first professional competition as an amateur at the Emirates Australian Open and finished a staggering 13th place. At the 2019 Masters, he was the leading amateur finishing three under par in a tie for 32nd. 
With that performance, he rose to number one in the amateur world rankings. He continued his run of form at the US Open, finishing 12th place with a score of 280. This was the lowest amateur score ever, breaking Jack Nicholas's 1960 score of 282. He became the first player to win the low amateur honours at both the Masters and the US Open in the same season since Matt Kuchar in 1998. Whilst at the Masters, Victor had coach Bratton on the back. He noticed John Solheim, the CEO of Ping, and took Victor over to say hello. Being Norwegian, the two hit it off straight away and both were very happy to start working together. After an incredible year, not so much in college golf, but undeniably on the main stage, Hov won the Ben Hogan Award, front running over his two good mates Colin Morikawa and Matt Wolf. Hovland turned professional following the 2019 US Open and made his professional debut at the Travelers Championship in June. By doing so, he forfeited his automatic entry into the 2019 Open Championship, something Colin Morikawa had previously done. The difference though, Colin re-qualified as a pro, whereas Victor missed out. Victor refocused his energy on his PGA Tour card, setting a PGA Tour record for the most consecutive rounds in the 60s. To finish the year, he finished tied second at the Corn Ferry Tour Finals, securing his card for the 2019-2020 seasons. In his first full season, Victor came back a brand new kid. He was no longer this chubby, soft kid anymore. He packed on some muscle and was looking like a true athlete, again showing his dedication to find small percentages to improve. In February, Victor entered the Puerto Rico Open in very sloppy form. He missed the two previous cuts of the year and ended up duffing two chips on Sunday. But he dug deep and somehow managed to scrape a win. This was his first PGA Tour win and the first Norwegian to win on the PGA Tour. In an interview after the win, Vic showed just the kind of guy he is. I suck at chipping, he said, with the widest trademark smile on his face. That's something I know I'm going to have to improve on if I want to play at my best level. So not only was he playing bad, but he was winning. Shortly after his win and the tour shutting down for COVID, Hovey went back to his inner 12-year-old self, researching online about his chipping and soaking everything in like a sponge. He began working with Pete Cowan on his short game, someone who had previously worked with Brooks Kepka and changed his game completely. With things opening back up again and Hovey really unleashing his new game, 2021 was his year. He kicked off the year with his second win on tour at the Mayakoba Classic, sinking a birdie putt on the last to clinch the title. He then started branching out onto the European tour where we first saw his double pump golf swing. Coach McGowan had hundreds of people messaging him, sending him photos and videos, asking what was he doing. Coach immediately got on the phone to Vic and simply asked him, what the hell are you doing? When did you start doing that? He calmly replied, this morning. It started out as a practice drill and worked so well. So when he wanted that little extra yardage, he would just unleash it. To have the balls to whip out this in a tournament just proves once again the confidence this young man has. With his game taking shape now, Hovland won his first event on the European tour at the BMW International Open, becoming the first Norwegian to do so, and then months later became the first Norwegian to play on the Ryder Cup team, unfortunately losing but catching up with old friends in the meantime. Hovland's addiction to getting better was like nothing anyone had ever seen before. He had tunnel vision and wasn't stopping until he found perfection. Again losing himself in YouTube and Instagram, Vic found himself messaging another coach. This time Jeff Smith, based in Las Vegas, who works with several young tour players such as Aaron Wise and Patrick Rogers. The pair had mutual friends, so was comfortable asking him if he could check out his swing. He was on a fact-finding mission, Smith says. What were the different views of his swing? What could he take away? Victor has a high IQ related to golf, golf instruction, and swing mechanics. He's always thinking. He's a highly intellectual individual. He doesn't show it off by downloading information onto you but he can tell you really quickly when something passes the sniff test or not. Smith really didn't want to change anything with his swing, and that he didn't think he needed to make any big changes. It seemed like Victor, like most kids these days, were just scrolling through social media for solutions and looking for approval from as many people as possible. He clearly has insecurities somewhere, regardless of whether Victor has a problem with seeking approval. To start the year of 2022, from five events, Victor has won twice. First defending his title at the Worldwide Technology Championship in Mayakoba, and then a month later at the Hero World Challenge. This win cemented his new nickname as the Resort King of Golf, as his first five professional wins were outside the contiguous United States, four of which were around the Caribbean Sea. At 24, this almost seems like nothing for Victor, like he always knew he was going to win these competitions, but it was the bigger and better things he was striving for. It's all well and good being driven and seeking perfection, even though we all know that's impossible. And regardless of your golf IQ and what you think you're absorbing, it's a dangerous path which many golfers have been down. See, he keeps seeking perfection, but his driving stats are out of this world. Averaging 307 yards off the tee, ranking 35th, for a 5'10", 165 pound man, 
is incredible, let alone ranking 7th for accuracy and 5th in greens and regulation. It's not till we look at his other stats within his game where we see where the problem lays. 97th in putting and 231st around the green. It's definitely here where Victor needs to improve. And if he wants to get to that next level, he needs to do so. But we can forgive Victor. He's 24 and got a long career ahead of him. He just needs to lay off the pedal a little and fine tune his weaknesses. But we can't knock his passion and work ethic. And I'm pretty sure very soon he'll win a major and nudge closer to that world number one spot. He's already became a national treasure and his personality alone is just what the sport needs.